Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Ceres and Scorpio in a natal chart. Now, Ceres in astrology can be associated uh, with how one may nurture and care and how one may also be desired to be nurtured and cared for. Now, given that this is in Scorpio, it might be done somehow excuse me, through transformation or rebirth. It could be by trying to revive somebody's life or revitalize someone, re rejuvenate them uh, in some way, shape, or form. It could be through sexual means in some cases if this person is involved in some intimate or sexual relationship with someone. The nurturing may be done very passionately with a lot of emotional intensity, and it may be done by, by sharing resources. Remember that Scorpio is the zodiac sign that is connected with shared resources, and also really um, doing so by maybe empowering others, giving, making other, giving others that ability to reach new heights. Remember that Scorpio is a zodiac sign associated with power uh, as well, and also by encouraging others to be more perhaps control uh, of their life uh, as well, because Scorpio, again, I mean, they are connected with control as well. That is the zodiac sign associated with that. So anyway, well, Ceres in astrology can also be associated with dissipated uh, or depleted self-worth or self-esteem. Now, given that this is in Scorpio, this may be attributed, it might be some sexual issues in some isolated cases that this person may have. It might be through some means of being uh, manipulated by maybe by somebody, whether it's a con artist or what have you. Maybe it's through some kind of a, obsessive energy. Maybe this person has obsessed over uh, people that they didn't need uh, to be uh, to obsess over. And this person, you know, really it might have made this person feel worthless at some point in time or being overly fixated on something where this person didn't uh, necessarily need to be fixated on. And it could also be they could be a victim of some crime in some uh, situation because remember Scorpio is the zodiac sign associated with crime and also it could have be issues with power whether there was losing some power struggle with somebody or not being able to gain power uh, in this person's life perhaps so anyway well, Ceres in astrology can also be connected with eating issues and disorders that are associated with eating. Given that this is Scorpio, it might be something that might really dominate or control the person. It could be something that could be very controlling in isolated cases if this, if this person does have some disorder associated with eating. Uh, it could also be an obsession with trying to transform oneself and trying to get a certain like weight, uh, a thinner weight with the physical body or something that this person may be very obsessed with. There might be a lot of relentless energy connected with this given that this is in Scorpio. But again, eating is most people do not have have these you know, strong eating disorders or eating issues, issues with food. So this is isolated. In some cases too, this might supplant or replace sex, perhaps in some cases, because Scorpio can be associated with sex. Now, Ceres in astrology can also be associated with raising children. Now, when we're raising uh, children, I mean, when, when you have Ceres in Scorpio, I mean, it could be an, an connected with uh, raising them to have power in their lives, to be in control of their lives and of situations and not allowing others to control them. It could also be connected with about being resilient and bouncing back from adversity, encouraging children to do that and to also for it to be resourceful uh, as well and to have um, and really to have a very good, perhaps even indomitable spirit and will exercise using willpower to get themselves through adversity but also the ability to transform themselves when necessary and not be overly stagnant in some uh, way of being or, or in some life if, you know, I mean and also the ability to perhaps get through crisis situations and adversity with a lot of calmness and composure and unflappable energy but also you may raise children with a lot of passionate energy and emotional intensity as well now the next thing up now uh Ceres in astrology can also be associated with being uh issues where one may be coerced into going somewhere against their will 
um, forcibly against their will. Uh, Ceres can be associated with kidnapping and abductions. Now, this is very rare, and the and odds are you're not going to be abducted or kidnapped by him. But in the event you're involved in some kidnapping, it might be connected with very vengeful, vindictive energy, given that this is in Scorpio, and might be done through a sexual partner. Um, it might be something where strong manipulation may have been involved, some trickeration, getting somebody to be at a certain place in order to have the kidnapping or abduction transpire. It might be through some, maybe some stalker, maybe somebody that was, uh, you know, might be associated with maniacal jealousy, somebody that might have been really jealous of you or might have had some real warped obsession or fixation uh, with you as well. And given that this is Scorpio energy, it might be more sinister than the other uh, placements on average. And now, uh, and it might even be for, for somebody that does have a strong criminal history or background because Scorpio can be a zodiac sign associated with crime. Now, Ceres in astrology can also be associated with family connections and relationships. And given that this is Scorpio energy, you might see your family as being, you know, connections being very deep, non, very non-superficial is what I would refer to it as, very intense and powerful, but it might be connections that are very probing as well. And in a lot of cases where you're getting to the bottom of matters with family members, it could be one that, you know, where maybe you did certain investigation with family members and, and again, going beyond the surface, going beyond subterfuge and superficiality. And, um, in some cases, there might be some jealousy in connection with family members as well. I mean, you could get that in, you know, virtually all families, but it might be more pronounced given that this is Scorpio uh, energy. Now, the thing about it is, I mean, you also got to look for contraindicators in a chart, such as having a Gemini moon, uh, where you might, where the, the connections with families may not be quite uh, as deep as otherwise uh, indicated or I mean, even the moon in the 12th house could indicate in a situation where your family connections, you know, might be a little bit dissipated or dissolve in general. So anyway, well, um, another thing that uh, Ceres is associated with is dejection, sorrow and disappointment. Given we're talking about Scorpio energy. This could be uh, in connection with intimate relationships. It could be over tax or insurance matters, uh, even through a death. Now, I understand there's a lot of, I mean, when someone dies, there's generally some despondency, but it might be more pronounced in connection uh, with this placement than many others. It might be through being manipulated in some cases, or it could be through some power struggle that one may have had to deal with or endure, or maybe some crisis issue that this person wasn't able to resolve. Um, it could be uh, also a um, serious in astrology. Uh, can also be, and also it might be through some sexual issue in some uh, isolated uh, cases. And of course, I mean, if you have other factors in the chart that might, you know, reaffirm or reinforce us, such as Saturn in the uh, in the eighth house in your natal chart, or maybe something where you know Mars is uh, an adverse aspect to Saturn, it could indicate, you know, give a greater propensity for some sexual issues or restrictions. Or even, um, I mean, there might be some despondency in connection with that. Now, Ceres in astrology can also be associated with protective energy. And given that this is in Scorpio, this could be a person that might be exceptionally, extremely protective over shared resources. It could be sexual matters and liaisons, even matters connected with their taxes, their insurance. Um, and just really over their own secrets in general. I mean, this could be a very secretive energy since we are talking about the zodiac sign uh, Scorpio. So, and also, um, Ceres in astrology can be connected with clothing as well. And now, given that this is a Scorpio energy, this might be a person that could be enamored with very dark clothing, mysterious, erotic, 
one that brings I mean one that could be very sexy as well and it might even be clothing that I mean this this is something where I mean you're where people that have this placement may wear clothing that kind of conceals them to some degree going out you know not wanting to be noticed wearing dark glasses uh, that kind of um, that kind of clothing so anyway well, Saracen astrology can also be associated with obliterating uh, something that one may, in order to restore what one previously had. And since we're talking about Ceres, this could be in some cases a uh, person that might, for example, might eliminate maybe their sexual relationships or their deep relationships, maybe to regain or restore power and control one may have previously had in one's life because, well, uh, as an example, I mean, if you're in a sexual relationship, if it's somebody uh, you're involved in that's dominating your time and monopolizing your energy, your time or activities or what have you, you might feel like you don't really have power or control in your own life. So that is one way that can manifest and pan, at least how I see it. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for uh, my take on Ceres and Scorpio in a natal chart. Until next time, people. Edwin Learner saying, stay well.